We got a hook, McDonald's display piece, the Nickelodeon one, all these VHS. There's all these like sweet 90s promo, uh, comic book, Marvel pieces, a ton of freaking stuff that we just scored. Insane. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Retro Life. Basically, the day in the life of a retro game and toy, a collector, buyer, reseller, enthusiast. Guys, we cover it all here in the series, and we actually have a ton to cover in today's video. The first thing we're going to do is knock out a project in the game room that we have been needing to do for, for such a long time. We go to a flea market that we have never filmed at before, and guys, my goodness, the score we get at the end of this video is insane. It is an 80s and 90s kids dream, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video. And then also don't forget, we got merch here on uh, on the channel and we have all of your fall and wintery merch needs. We got long sleeve shirts, we got hoodies, we got a ton of different things on the merch store and for the month of December, we're doing 20% off. So don't, so don't miss that, go check that out. Uh, but for now, let's jump into uh, this project in the game room. All right, guys, we're in the game room, obviously, uh, working through some different projects in the game room. I'm joined with my boy Adam right there. Hey, hey. He is my tech expert. And I asked Adam, I'm like, hey, what do I need? What do I need in the game room to make it pop? And he said, why the heck do you not have, or they called again, R RGBs? <laughs> See, listen to me. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm talking about. He's like, you need RGBs behind your trusty eight cube shelf. Shout out to the Walmart eight cube shelf that has lasted three years with this behemoth. What do these weigh again? I think it's, it's like, like 120 pounds. It's like, oh, it's over a hundred pounds. And this was like, I don't know, a $70 shelf at Walmart. One if, day, if. one day that will break and fall through probably my freaking floor. But that's that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these here. Let's, let's look at these lights right real quick. So basically talk us through what these are and like how you how you set them up so, pretty easy right yeah they're just your standard rgb to 255 color coded lights well see i don't know any of the words he's saying <laughs> and you can just connect them see light to light okay mm -hmm. we have and like you, you cut two them, of them you can cut them yep. to size you can cut them to size this is not near long enough to really worry about voltage drop or anything like that wow uh, that's so smart <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna look great. It's got a remote. Just your, just your, you know, your standard. Okay. Straight from China. Straight from China stuff. Yeah. It hopefully it works though. So we're gonna move this out of the way. We'll probably time lapse a little bit of this process, and show you guys what it looks like. But I think it will hopefully make this this TV area look a little better. So let's get to it. We're done. We got some lights off in the game room so you can actually see what the lights look like. Here we go. Here it's kind of in front of them. So, guys, I don't know anything, man. I don't know anything. So you can turn. Yeah, yeah, you guys know how this works, but I don't. You turn all different colors. How do you do the uh all yeah, the different yeah. ones? Quick mode. Boom. There Whoa. It is. It looks like Leon Hart with his Pokemon room. I think I think it looks pretty cool. There's definitely hope. Oh. There's definitely some room to make it even better. You know, you can like put like, I've seen people put black background. So you basically mm -hmm. cover the back where all the cables are. That's something we'll probably do at some point, but in general, we can put them in like, cool. like a diffuser. The white oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To diffuse it. So there we go, guys. Here is, let me back up, get a better look at the room. It adds a little bit, just a little spice. Well, what I like to say, and Adam killed it with this, so. I like it, and we actually came with two two strips, um, two of these, and we only we only had to use one. And I think those were like forty bucks. Maybe I'll link down in the description uh, where we picked those up. But I dig it, guys. I'm really digging the lights that we just installed down here. Really, the ones that Adam installed. But now we're gonna jump over to a flea market that we have not filmed at before. It's about forty five minutes away. A ton of rad stuff. Let's jump into that. All right, so far, extremely uh, home decor-y. <laughs> I keep saying home decor -y. I think I've made that 
term up at this point, but I mean, it's just home decor. You never know, man, you never know. Here is some old Barbie cases, Barbie carrying cases, kind of like my TMNT one. Uh, that's for Barbies. Here's Tropical Splash Barbie. Tropical Splash Barbie doll smells like a tropical flower and comes with fragrance for you, doll sold separately. She's got a great tan. Was this 90s? Gotta be 90s, 94. 94. I actually am still looking for a trash can for the game room. TMNT one, Mario, something like that. I think there's actually a Zelda one I've seen before. Still on the hunt for, for a trash can. Whoa, look at this. Battlestar Galactica. Marvel Superhero Special. Let's open this thing up and get this. A little tore up for sure. The official, it's official, y'all. Five bucks. No, no, no. Wait, yes, five. I said 50 cents. I was like, for 50 cents, I mean, we gotta get it. I don't know much about Battlestar Galactica, but whoa, that is serious. <laughs> this is kind of the first cool thing we've seen, at least so far. We've got Huckleberry Hound, and then there's a Bugs Bunny coloring book. Look at that Coke sign. Things go better with Coke. I'm seeing a lot of cool signs so far in these BB flea markets. Hey look, there's another trash can. This is a Raggedy Ann and Andy. Not what I'm on lookout for, but I feel like we're getting close. Just imagine, just imagine if there's another one in here. Here's a Hot Wheels light switch. New, still new. Here are some games. Crash Wrath of Cortex. This would be good for around six. Eight to six would be a decent price for this. 950. It does feel complete, so not bad. Barbie's horse adventure? One of these Barbie games actually have some pretty decent value. There's another one. Let's ride. Silver buck buckle stables. Tons and tons of VHS, not VHS, sorry, DVDs. I just don't have it in me right now, guys. I don't have it in me to look through all of these. I did see Fletch, y'all. Fletch is amazing. Drop your shorts and bend over much of a bar. Whoa, look at this Timex case. <laughs> that, like the shape of that is crazy to me. I've never seen a display case look like that. It's gotta be 70s. Here are, some watches. And that Simpsons watch right there. I wonder I wonder if it's like a really cheap one or if it's actually like a nice watch. Cause they made like those Burger King ones. There's a Batman watch in there. I might look at that Simpsons watch. The colors are pretty rad, but if it's like a really cheap Burger King one, I'm gonna pass. There are toys back here. They look like kids toys though. I say kids toys, you know what I mean? Like. Not collectibles. Not the stuff I'm looking for. Probably saying, Rick, all, all toys are for kids, right? Well, look at this robot. Look at this robot. Bank clock robot. Definitely newer, made in China, but really close to being cool. Train is going by currently. Look at this. The Flintstones. We got Fred, if I can get it off the peg. This is 94, I think, 93. I've never seen this small figure. They have quite a few toys through here. Here's Batman, Night Forces, Ninja. Whoa, dude, he is serious. Look at this guy. New Batman Night Force Ninjas. The popped up Riddler spins his biggest question yet, but Night Force unleashes its biggest Batman ever. Say hello to Multi-Blast Batman! You control two massive fists of fury and one battering boot of justice! Batman Night Force Ninjas beats sold separately. So that's cool, not 15 cool though. Some more figures down here. I do see something up here. Bandai. And he is six. What is he from? 2002. This also looks like, I'm gonna say Gundam, but I don't know. We found a Gundam robot 
recently and I had no idea because I never was never into Gundam but it's kind of cool for 650 probably not probably not bad hey here we go okay first off that's a silly aren't they called silly slammer silly slammers people don't talk about those very often got a couple older toys over here and then down here you got a Bart Bart's chilling and here are some turtle figures 1992 oh his arm's gone though he definitely would have been a buy looks like they're all broken I see pieces missing on most of those And then Skylanders and newer type toys, newer turtles, Iron Man. Okay, here are a bunch of golden books. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. Frosty, Tweety, Cookie Monster. It's like most of the stuff so far in here has been, if it's any kind of like toy related or books or anything, it's like 70s and older which I don't see too terribly often, but been a couple interesting things at least. All right, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go look at that robot and that Simpsons watch and see if those are worth picking up. So the robot and the Simpsons watch ended up being a bust, not worth picking up, but that is okay because guys, we're about to jump into one of the craziest uh, scores and pickups I've ever got. Uh, we're about to explain a little bit of it. Make sure to hang around to the end of the video to see everything that we got. It is crazy. Literally a, a 90s, 80s kid's dream in picking up all of these amazing toys from our childhood, y'all. It's crazy. So me and Adam just picked up an insane haul of, look at this, y'all, freaking McDonald's display pieces. Not just the toys, not just like the Nickelodeon toys, but the actual display pieces. There's so much in here. There's the Nickelodeon, there's Hook, there's a ton of VHS in here. It's kind of a long story. I want to talk uh, all through it, but we got all these over here. These are like promo car or promo like posters from the 90s for Marvel cards. There's a ton of freaking stuff. Again, I want to go through it in more detail, but I wanted to give you just a sneak peek of all this amazing stuff we just got. All right, we're back in the game room with this huge haul of literally 80s and 90s gold. Guys, this is the stuff that I freaking love so much. So the short story is basically, I met a viewer, he, he, he reached out to me on Facebook and said that he was in the area. He's actually from Arkansas, north, northeast, Ar no, northwest Arkansas area. And basically he goes to flea markets around there and he went to one, I believe in Missouri, and he tracked down all this stuff. He messaged me and I didn't know what any of this stuff was. He just said, hey, I have a bunch of a bunch of really cool things that I want to show you if you're around and potentially we can work out a deal. And I'm like, sure. He seemed like a really cool guy uh, and he had a Razorback like avatar. And I was like, I like this guy. I like this guy already. So he brought all of this stuff and we worked out a deal for 150 bucks for all of these items. I basically just paid him uh, what he what he paid for it. So he got most of this, the really, really cool stuff. He got most of this at a, a flea market in Missouri and all of the McDonald's stuff was like 75% off. So he was like, dude, I knew you were going to love some of these pieces. So let's talk through some of, let, let, let's go through these comics first. So he has a lot of these, these comic books. So these, I believe Adam, Adam's behind the camera. He definitely knows more about like uh, comics and stuff than more than me. But these are, Adam, these are like promo yeah, they're, items. They're for the Marvel Metal okay. series. It came out in 95. And y'all? So they're like for like for the vendor stores. Look at these, like, they look so good. Look at them, they're insane. Mr. Sinister, you got Jubilee. Oh my gosh. So Adam loves these. We've already talked about it. He saw these and was like, uh, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna need those from you, man. And I don't, you know me guys, I like collecting a lot of this stuff just by the way, a lot of it looks. So I'm not really attached to too much of it. Uh, is it mostly Bionicle? Here's some other stuff in here. Bionicle. I'm trying not to bend them. You guys get on to me. I know, I know. Spider-Man. Marvel Knights. Those are nice. So these are newer. These look a little bit newer. Maybe. I don't know. Hulk. Really cool. So really cool. Just a, a crap ton of comics. So these are really cool. Me and Adam will go through these. There might be some things in here that have at least a little bit of value. Definitely these to me are the coolest things. These pro, any promo type items, things that, you know, not the, the, the typical person has are always really neat to me. So 
there's that. I guess we can go through some of this stuff real quick. We have just a bunch of random stuff that he said he's been collecting at uh, Goodwill bins and stuff like that. So Indian in the Cupboard, little Nintendo magazine. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Super Game Boy. Super Game Boy for the Super NES. Game Boy games in color, intense. Oh, dude, I love, I love it so much. I think you can like change the like the color palettes and stuff whenever you're, whenever you're playing the Super Game Boy. So that's really cool. And then just some random VHS. I don't think there's anything too crazy in here, uh, other than a Wii Fit. Really, really rare. Ghostbusters. Uh, this. Now he didn't even know, but my wife loves Harry Potter, so she'll use this little journal that's literally like brand new. And then just a ton of books. You got Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Wild Thornberries. So basically all of this stuff that I love so much. New kid <laughs> He basically just said, man, I picked out a bunch of stuff that I thought this is something that you would like. So really cool to get all that. Uh, this is just some Wii U stuff. Uh, nothing crazy in here. Just a couple Wii U games. And then all of these, I don't know, I don't know which of these have value. I say this every time, but there are some of the Disney Infinity uh, characters and pieces that have value. Uh, I don't know which ones they are. You guys tell us down below if you know. And then I just want to show you guys this stuff last because it's so freaking cool. This is just like a random box. Plushes, mostly like Mario, Bowser. This Bowser is actually really nice. Look at that. My son will dig that. And then a bag, a bag full of Mario stuff and a DS case. So a lot of really, really cool things. A lot of really cool things. Got a Mario Kart, no uh, no remote. Dude, this is sick. Have you seen this before? Yeah, I've had one. Oh my gosh, these things are rad. Well, it like goes drifts. in drift mode, yeah. So cool. Let's see, here's a Taz and then just a bunch of SpongeBob, just a bunch of pluses. So that's really cool. Let's move over, I guess, to this last box before we jump into the really good stuff. Some more VHS. Uh, ooh, ooh. Cheat Code Explosion for PS3, Wii, and Xbox 360. Y'all remember these? So cool. There is a Crush Boxed Furby down here. Whoops. That's not good, but there he is. I'm Dem seeing that. Demon Possessed. Demon Possessed for sure. Oh. Uh, the A team, really cool. I love, I love color forms so much. And then just a bunch of random figures. You got, uh oh. <laughs> you know what's what's funny about this is this is actually my second Austin Powers figure, and just like as of recent, because my dad picked me up a Doctor Evil one that he found at a flea market. He didn't even ask me if I wanted it. He just got it. it was like, hey, I think you probably want that. A Wiley Coyote. This one was one that I thought was really cool. I'm a Chester Cheetah fan. I'm Chester Cheetah. I'm just a cool dude in a loose mood. Until I see those Cheetos. And I actually have the Super Nintendo games. Uh, there's two of them on the Super Nintendo, so he's really cool. Super vintage. Here's an E.T. game. What's this for? CD read-along? Don't have that. It'll go in the E.T. collection. And then you got a couple Team NT figures down here. A Smurf, Power Rangers, and then some of these little handhelds, which are pretty sweet. So, really cool. Obviously, this stuff is pretty sick. Uh, let's jump over to the good stuff. Now, I love, I love McDonald's toys so much growing up with them. When McDonald's brought our favorite video game characters into our Happy Meals, or our most loved Saturday morning cartoon show, or our most cherished movies and more, this was everything. Uh, I remember going to McDonald's and like, as kids, I feel like, I don't know if you're like this, Adam. I feel like anytime you saw these up at McDonald's, anytime you saw kids, they were literally standing on the thing and just like looking at them like this. Like you just wanted every one of them. You wanted to see them up close. Oh, yeah. That's That was me as a kid. Okay, so this one is definitely one of my favorite pieces I have ever seen. Now, I, I've always loved the Mario 3 ones. Did not know that they even made this like whole display thing. I love these hook figures. I've, I think I have two or three of the Rufios. My son literally plays with one uh, when he takes his bath at night and squirts out water. But here is the hook McDonald's display. What can turn a bath into a trip to Neverland? Here, me. 
McDonald's. Book Happy Meal. Based on a new movie. There's Peter Pan. A mermaid that swims. Hook himself for a lost boy squirter. In the, like, glass bottle. It's so sick. I love Hook. Actually, was that Hook game over here? Right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a Hook SNES game right there. Uh, there's that. I have the Hook. I have the Hook. Tiger handheld, and yes, the hook, the hook uh, collection is growing and expanding oh, with this. And then... Oh yeah, and then there's this. So check this out. It's almost like what do you even call that? It's like transparent almost. You can almost see through it. If you went up against the light, you can see my hand, and it would probably be like up against one of their like fluorescent light things, yeah. and it would just pop right. So it came with this, and then uh, this one. The Nickelodeon one, I remember these toys so vividly. Every single one of these, having these as a kid, and this is it. This is the McDonald's display that you would see at McDonald's. And then here is the Fitness Fun Michael Jordan. I actually have I actually have one of these right here in my Space Jam collection, even though it's technically not Space Jam. Look, guys, look at this. Everything comes full circle. <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's so cool. So cool. So I got that. Got that. Obviously goes with it. And then this one. This is freaking insane, guys. The E.T. Happy Meal. It's got the picture of the Happy Meal on it with or with, with the Happy Meal box with E.T. I don't He's, think it's that price anymore. It, it's not. Look at this. Look at this in here. 1980. Two. You can collect four E.T. posters, a different one each week, when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal featuring E.T., the extraterrestrial, on each box. Me. McDonald's Happy Meal boxes featuring E.T. This thing was 40 years old, and it looks beautiful, and it's amazing. And, like, I think, I think what we're going to do is I have a buddy right down the street that is, like, a master craftsman. He's going to, like, put this in a frame and put a light behind it, and this thing is going to go up on the wall someplace and just pop because it's kind of the same way a little bit transparent and you can kind of see that not, not as not as transparent as those but more kind of uh, seeing the light through those do you want to put those up little on your, things so on your light slap it up on your light oh, see yeah, what it looks like oh look adam adam is so dang smart look at that it's right. <laughs> amazing <laughs> this was awesome thank you so much shout out to uh, i'm saying the viewer because he did not want to be disclosed he was like hey man i just want i just want to help the channel out again i just want basically what i paid for for the stuff and that's it so really uh really appreciate that man for finding all this stuff a great deal totally pieces that i'm going to cherish uh, in the collection but man my childhood i found my childhood y'all i love it so much insane pickup in today's video guys i still can't believe we got these amazing happy meal toy display pieces they are absolutely beautiful thank you so much again to the viewer that wants to remain anonymous for hooking me up with all of these items at a really great price i don't know which one my favorite is probably either the hook display or the transparent et poster board those things are incredible you guys tell me down below what was your favorite thing uh, in this lot of things that we picked up or tell me down below what was your favorite happy meal toy from back in the day i would love to know as always thank you guys for hanging out for watching the video if you would like the video it helps out tremendously for the channel subscribe if you have not already and until next time peace